Hey everyone, welcome back. Rebecca Jean here with Style My Sweets. Today I have some more modern DIY home decor, room decor to share with guys using Dollar Tree supplies. So let's go ahead and jump into these. I think that you could kind of use them or customize them to really fit with any style of decor. I just feel like they're kind of neutral and fun DIYs. So I hope that you will enjoy and let's go ahead and get started. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy it and definitely comment and let me know which one of these is your favorite. Stay tuned as well. I will have a giveaway for you later on in this video. So let's go ahead and jump into these modern home decor DIYs. For the first one, this one is a set of candle holders and I just found these orbs, these geometric orbs in Dollar Tree. I thought they were really cool and I just knew right away that I wanted to make some candle holders with them. So I used super glue to attach them, although hot glue should also work. You could use E6000, um, a lot of options here and I glued together to make a little set. One of them two high and one set with three high. Definitely make sure that these are really dry and that your glues definitely had a chance to dry thoroughly. And then you can go ahead and paint them however you like. But first I want to go ahead and use two lids from these round cardboard boxes from Dollar Tree's craft section. These are very sturdy, but because they are just a like papery cardboard material you'll only really want to use these with battery flameless like led battery candles which is what i'm planning to do i love my led battery operated timer candles i love the fact that they're on a timer they flicker very realistically and i'm actually going to give away a set of them later in this video so keep watching and i will tell you how to enter if you would like to enter to win a set of those candles but anyway you can paint these now however you like so here is how they look if you just leave them completely natural but I'm gonna use some chalk paint and completely cover these entire candle holders. I love how they look um, all covered over just with some white chalk paint, but you could also lightly kind of stipple on some brown or some gray paint to make this look more like actual stone. If you like the look of that, comment below. Would you keep these a solid color? Would you, would you make them a solid color or do you think that they should be more dimensional something with like two or three colors kind of splotched on there and layered on there to look more like stone or yeah would you do a solid color what would be your preference Let's go ahead and move on. And next I'm taking two Dollar Tree canvases. I have an eight by 10 and an 11 by 14 here. And I'm going to cut out a fabric placemat. This is also from Dollar Tree. And I'm just gonna cut that to fit on the 11 by 14 canvas and use hot glue to attach it. And then for the eight by 10 frame, so I started with the shorter side on top, so it's kind of going lengthwise vertically, and I poured some liquid gold acrylic paint along that narrower side at the top, and I just let that gold paint drip all the way down. So I thought this looks really cool. Now, this is totally optional, and if you skip this part, your piece of wall art decor will still be beautiful, and it will be less expensive and easier to do but I was just really curious to see how this would look. I just kind of had this idea to make it a little bit more like 3D, I guess, just, just to give it something with a little bit more like layered textures and interest. So once that paint was dry, I just stuck on some of these Dollar Tree wall stickers. Now these ones say, let go and let God. And like I said, I picked them up in Dollar Tree, but to be honest, 
they would be easier to read if I didn't add the gold paint on there, but I do think that the paint just kind of gives it a unique and artistic vibe. You could use black paint on here on top of the white canvas. I think that would be really pretty. You could also use, you know, any color that would fit with your decor. I would just suggest like pick a paint color that will complement the color of the placemat that you use for the canvas. So yeah, anyway, glue that piece onto the larger piece that has your placemat, that fabric on there. And then I added a simple frame from Dollar Tree. I'm just using one of their 11 by 14 frames and I'm gonna save the glass for a future project. You can paint the frame if you want or keep it as is. I think Dollar Tree has black and brown frames frames that come in that 11 by 14 size. I think this one turned out pretty fun and kind of funky looking with the gold drips, even if it is a little bit harder to read. I do really love how it turned out. So moving on to the next one, I'm taking this dollar store frame and spray painting it copper. And then I took the glass and used it to trace out a piece of black foam board, which is also from Dollar Tree. I'm gonna use this to make the backing for this piece of decor. Then I took a scrap piece of this non-slip rug matting. This is that rubber rug non-slip pad that you, you put under a carpet or something to keep it from slipping. Dollar Tree actually sells these in a larger size and I'm just cutting out a little piece of this leftover one. It is a new one. This is not from underneath our carpet. <laughs> this is still a leftover piece of a brand new one that I bought from Dollar Tree for a dollar just to use for my crafting. So I'm gonna cut that and I'm gonna fold it in half here and slightly offset the squares so that the lines of both layers are visible and so they don't like line up and overlap each other because then you wouldn't really see that you have two layers and two sets of lines if that makes sense then i use some hot glue around the edge to keep everything in place on that foam board and i just added it back into the frame for a pretty cheap and a really unique piece of modern home decor The next one is a ridiculously easy candle holder DIY using these Dollar Tree candle holders. I just love these. I think they are so cool. But basically what I'm doing is stacking two high and one high all in the same color as the bases for these. And then I'm doing a different style as the tops and making the top pieces match each other in a different color than the bottom. So I'm using white and gold and I think these just turned out so pretty. You actually don't even need to glue these together if you don't want to, you can just stack them however you like. Those are my favorite for safety and the timers make them so fun and practical because you know they just go on themselves and you can walk into the room and your candles are already going and there's just something magical about that when I didn't even have to go around and turn them on. So I really enjoy timer candles and I love how realistic the flicker on them is too. The only complaint I have is that the ones that I like to order on Amazon with these tea light size on Amazon is actually slightly too large to fit in these Dollar Tree candle holders. So I just set it in the top and you know what, it works and I'm, I'm not worried about it because like I said, they are battery. So for the giveaway, I wanna give away a set of the LED timer candles for you guys, since I use them all over my home, I really enjoy them. So I was gonna give away a set to, um, to one of you guys. So just comment down below and let me know um, if you would rather win the trio of the pillar candles or if you'd rather win the set, the battery operated tea light size. So I think the tea light size comes with like the 10 little tea light candles. And then the other one is a trio with three different heights of the pillar candles. I love them both. Um, for me personally, I probably get more use out of the pillar candles, but comment below and let me know which one you would rather win. So all you need to do to enter is to one, make sure that you are subscribed to this channel, Style My Sweets, give this video a thumbs up, and then, like I said, comment down below and just let me know if you'd rather get the pillar candles or the tea light candles. I just wanted to give away a set because I'm always sharing like candle holder DIYs. I really enjoy doing those and I thought this would be a perfect chance to give them away. So I will pick someone and have it shipped directly to you right off of 
with Amazon. This is gonna be perfect coming in time for the fall time. I always pull out all the candles in fall and winter time. I love my candles. So I can't believe that that's already gonna be around the corner. Moving on to the next one now. And for this one, I'm taking both a smaller and larger circle from these round 3D wreath forms from Dollar Tree, along with some yarn in whatever color you like. And be sure to check Dollar Tree's craft section because they do have different colors of yarn as well. I chose this light pink one. I got it in Dollar Tree and I did not even need the whole skein of yarn. It actually had, I actually had quite a bit left over. We're going to start by wrapping the yarn around and around covering the two metal circles. I'm starting at this top part where you can see that I'm pinching the two hoops together so that they touch and I just went all the way around like this so by the time you get to the bottom part it has a wider band of yarn and then it gets narrow again until they touch again at the top and then just tie that yarn off when you get back up to the top where you started this did take a little bit of time to do but it's also pretty easy and relaxing you could do it while you're watching tv listening to a podcast pretty much anything so next I decided to string some pearls on clear fishing line i already had some on hand um, you could also use some kind of um you could also use thread or you know this part is totally optional maybe you don't even want to do this but i had some fishing line and i decided to take some pearls and string them on here i have an assortment of pearls i think these are a mix of both ones that i got on amazon and ones that i got in dollar tree so i have a variety of sizes so i made three strings like that and i just arranged them so that they would hang kind of from smaller to larger and staggered them in three bunches here so that they would hang at different heights the last part was to embellish the top part now with some extra greenery and florals that I had in my craft stash. And then I just hung this up in the window over by my plants for now, but it would be so pretty in a bedroom, office, hallway, anywhere you like. You could even do a larger statement wall piece by using both a smaller and larger hula hoop. And you could kind of create a larger version of this DIY wall art using hula hoops. So I think that would be really fun as well. Thank you so much for being here. It means so much to me that you are here. I love hanging out with you guys. I will see you next Thursday at 6 p.m. That is when I have been uploading videos, Thursday at 6 p.m. Eastern time. And until then, have a beautiful and blessed day, and I will see you guys soon in the next one. Bye!